with the fourth pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Stephon Marbury from Georgia Tech University. For a lot of people, this is unfortunately what comes to mind when they think of Stephon Marbury. Or at least when they think of his fall from grace. When you can't get your voice back, take some Vaseline and swallow it. The former All-Star, his NBA career behind him at only 32 years old, weeping and eating Vaseline in a disturbing 2009 live stream. But that low point wasn't the end for Marbury. And it certainly wasn't his defining moment. This is the story behind Stefan Marbury. Being the center of attention was nothing new for the Coney Island kid who earned his Starbury nickname and a legendary status among New York ballers before he had even finished high school. Marbury said to have been an inspiration for the Jesus Shuttlesworth character, played by Ray Allen, in Spike Lee's classic movie, He Got Game. What about Stefan Marbury? He made it. Oh, true that, true that, yeah, yeah. Born into a family of hoopers, Marbury went on to star at famed Lincoln High in Brooklyn before a one-year stop at Georgia Tech propelled him to the NBA. There, the point guard phenom made an immediate impact with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's got it, Avery Johnson, a pick from Goodley Island. Marbury with the runner. Oh, a young Marbury proved the perfect complement to a prodigious big man named Kevin Garnett. And the duo led the T-Wolves to the franchise's first postseason appearance in Marbury's rookie year, launching a run of eight straight playoff trips for Minnesota. Marbury was sent packing after only two of those trips, however. The rising star reportedly craved his own team in a bigger market, so the Timberwolves obliged, sending him to the then New Jersey Nets during the lockout-shortened 1999 season. Marbury would soon learn that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, even when it's closer to home. Sure, he became an all-star and an all-NBA guard in the Meadowlands, but the Nets won fewer than 35% of their games during Marbury's two and a half seasons with the team, and he was traded to Phoenix in the 99-2000 deal that brought Jason Kidd to New Jersey. The peak of Marbury's Nets years, and honestly, maybe the peak of his NBA career, came in the 2001 All-Star game, when he lifted the Eastern Conference to victory with a pair of clutch threes in the game's final minute. A stirring finish to this 50th NBA All-Star game. The West by two. Marbury for three. Again! Stephon Marbury! But as Marbury bounced from team to team, an interesting trend was emerging in his wake. The teams he left behind were building contenders. The Bucks, who actually drafted Marbury in 1996, built their best team in a generation by trading him on draft night for Ray Allen then acquiring Sam Cassell in the 1999 three-team deal that sent Marbury to New Jersey. After parting with Marbury, the Garnett-led Timberwolves became a perennial 50-win team. The Nets transformed from afterthought to finals team with Kidd running the show. And that pattern would continue in Phoenix, where after one more All-Star appearance and one more first-round playoff exit, the Suns traded Marbury to his beloved Knicks midway through the 2003-2004 season. A few months later, the Suns signed Steve Nash and became an overnight contender. The Knicks represented Marbury's fourth team in only eight pro seasons. And after being swept in the first round during his first postseason with the team, the Knicks failed to win more than 33 games in a season over Marbury's final five years in New York. That Knicks tenure would eventually end with the nearly $22 million per year point guard being told to stay away from the team to start the 2008-2009 season. That Knicks tenure saw Marbury feud with coaches Larry Brown, Isaiah Thomas, and Mike D'Antoni. Marbury also testified during a sexual harassment case brought against Madison Square Garden that he quote-unquote got together with a Knicks intern. It was as a Knick that Marbury starred on the only U.S. Olympic team featuring NBA players to not win a gold medal. His homecoming was an unmitigated disaster, and his NBA career would end a few months after the Knicks bought out his contract in 2009. Marbury joined the Celtics for the stretch run and averaged just 3.7 points in less than 12 minutes per playoff game. It was the first and only time in his 13-year career he advanced past the first round. What followed was a bizarre offseason in which Marbury reportedly turned down a veteran's minimum offer to return to Boston, 
starred in that infamous live stream, and then kind of went off the grid. Little did we know there would be life after NBA death for one of his generation's most confounding stars. Marbury's journey to China was ridiculed at first, and his first two seasons in the CBA with Shan Ji and Foshan, though resulting in back-to-back -back CBA All-Star match appearances, were otherwise nondescript. Then a funny thing happened. After spending much of his pro career as somewhat of a polarizing basketball vagabond, Stefan Marbury, the Coney Island kid who dazzled as a prodigy before flaming out, found a home in Beijing. Marbury carried the Ducks, a team with zero championships through 55 years of existence prior to his arrival, to a title in his first year with the team, defending the seven-time champion Guangdong Southern Tigers in the CBA Finals. During one series in Beijing's playoff run, Marbury averaged 45 points per game. For his heroics, a statue of the point guard was built in front of the team's arena. To fans in China, and specifically in Beijing, this was like Kawhi Leonard leading the Raptors to a title, over the Warriors, in his first year with the team. Except seven years before Kawhi ever actually did that. And unlike Leonard in Toronto, Marbury was there to stay in Beijing, playing another five seasons for the Ducks, with the partnership bringing two more CBA championships in 2014 and 2015, before Marbury eventually ended his career with the Beijing Fly Dragons in 2018. And if you thought that was the end of his story, think again. Because Stefan Marbury, the mercurial star who clashed with a who's who of NBA coaches, now serves as head coach of those Fly Dragons, who have gone from dead last 8 and 38 team last year to fifth place 19 and 11 squad in Marbury's first season at the helm. The guy has become a god half a world away. And it's not just his basketball exploits that have elevated him to icon status in China. Marbury also has a Beijing museum in his honor, owns an arena football team in the city, and even won Best New Actor at the 2017 China Movie Channel Media Awards for starring as himself in a biopic about the Ducks 2012 title, a film that included this Allen Iverson cameo. You know, I dig the fool. I mean, you're not gonna find a brother like me with chopstick handles who can go and pick up the fool like I do. In 2014, the same year he starred in a Chinese musical about his life, He became the first non-Chinese citizen to be named on the top 10 model citizens for Beijing list, thanks to his charity and community work. That shouldn't surprise anybody back home. Marbury recently made the news for helping broker a deal that would see a Chinese supplier ship 10 million N95 masks to New York in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. And who could forget his 2006 foray into the world of sneakers and lifestyle apparel when he partnered with Stephen Berry's? a former American retail chain, to sell Starbury shoes for less than $15 a pair so that kids could rock out and ball out on a budget. The Starbury brand, like the man himself, has proved hard to defeat. It's back up and running, by the way, and still offers super affordable gear. Nearly a quarter century since he arrived on the NBA scene as one of the most hyped point guard prospects of his time, Stefan Marbury's story from the tightest handle in Brooklyn to chopstick handles in Beijing, is still worth telling. He refused to accept that the NBA was the end of his basketball journey, and he found a way to ensure those early years wouldn't be the only way we define him. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button 